I'm James Marshall. I'm running the Marathon de Sahara, the toughest foot race in the world. It's six marathons in five days across the Sahara Desert. I'm training like a crazy man, which is really boring. So I've asked my pals to come on a jog to keep me company. This is Jogging with James. Melissa George. Darling. You won lots of awards. You were nominated for a Golden Globe. Yes. You worked with some pretty big directors and you're not bad looking. How are you not a complete monster bitch? Oh, you know, there's friends like you to keep me in my place. <laughs> On Hunted, yes. Sam, the character, is a spy. Did you learn any like really cool like spy stuff? I learned how to run guns like this. <laughs> it's very difficult. I learned to look over my shoulder with my guns. But you have to make sure when you look, you don't shoot yourself like this. I learned a street fighting technical casey, which they taught to Bond, Bourne and Batman. Okay. This is the first female to be taught this fight technique. Did you ever think, you know, to channel that anger, did you think about past boyfriends and think, right, I'm just going to get this out now? Yeah, for sure. Past husbands, maybe. Past husbands. <laughs> you see this? That's from, oh my God. Look at that. Who has a muscle on their forearm? Anybody? Do you have a muscle on your foot? No. No. Nope. How many yeah. miles have you jogged? Actually, I'm he's, getting food. he's struggling. <laughs> So was there ever a point then where, I mean, to be a champion roller skater? Yeah. Like, how, how, what in the world were you? When I turned 14, I came second in the Junior Worlds for artistic skating. I was training as a skater, and then I got this show in, in Australia called Home and Away. Uh -huh. I left home at 16, and I moved to Sydney, and I became an actress, and then I just had this acting bug. I had a lot inside me that I wanted to get out, and I thought it was fascinating, the fact that you could get paid and cry and play these parts and live this other world and and to me that was like roller skating too. I was always performing, playing a character on skates and then acting was just a natural segue. So I have a game here which is, I think, uh, hopefully you'll appreciate, if not I'm in trouble. The, mm. the game is called Shag, Marry, Push Off a Cliff. Shag, Marry, Push Off a Cliff, oh my god. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is I'm the, and this is, I haven't invented this, so I borrowed this game. Um, but we're gonna do it for men and for women. Okay. So I wanna understand who you would shag, who you would marry, who would push up a cliff if you were single, of course, and why. Ryan Gosling, George Clooney, and Channing Tatum. I would actually shag Ryan Gosling, shag and marry George Clooney. <laughs> so why would you marry George Clooney? Because he lives in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Shag and push off a cliff. Once I've shagged him, <laughs> once I've shagged Channing, I'll push off a cliff. I like, see, I like how you, like, you, you invent your own rules here. <laughs> Why not? I think that's, that's great. Okay. I'd just clearly shag. I would never push him off a cliff. No. Yeah. Or if I did, I could just live in Italy and just, it would just be me. <laughs> just stay. <laughs> so we have Beyonce, who's just been voted by GQ as the hottest woman of the 21st century. Myla Kunis and Kate Blanchett. I would marry Kate Blanchett, I would shag Beyonce, and I would push Mima off a cliff. Very easy decision. <laughs> what? What and none of them are invited to the Italian villa. <laughs> none of them. Melissa, thank you so much for being on Jogging with James. I had um, the best time. You've been really wonderful, so thank you very much. Love you, darling. Thank you. That's the show. So thanks for watching and subscribing to GQ. You can trend us by following hashtag GQJog. Like us and comment below. Have a great day. How's it hanging? I didn't put my glide on. <laughs> oh With, no. Without the glide I do get a bit of chafing. Can't what? you run like this so you, you don't get chafing? <laughs>